In this video, we're gonna be checking out six different guitar amps back to back through the same speaker cab. We're not gonna be using any pedals so that we can really hear the differences between these amps and like the overdrive characteristics of each amp. We're gonna be playing the same guitar to really make this a nice sound test. I'm Jason from Fuzzlord Effects. We're gonna get started right now, but before we do, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the weekly gear videos that we put out. Before we get started, let's just talk about the signal chain a little bit. I'm playing an Illuminati Nebula DX guitar. It's got an aluminum neck and a hollow Lucite body. It's running Lawler Imperial pickups. And then we're running all of the amps into an Emperor Cabinets 1x12, 1x15GT. And then we're using a pair of SM57s to mic the 15 and the 12 inch speaker of that cab. If you wanna know more about any of the gear we're using in this video, check out the description below. So drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of all these different amps and if you had a favorite. So one of my favorite amps in this group is the Laney AOR50. It's an 80s amplifier that has a lot of gain and it got really popular with doom metal music and I think you can see why. It also cleans up really well, good pedal platform amp, but if you're looking for something on a budget, I think the Laney AOR50 is a really cool amplifier. The Fuzzlord FTW45 is based on the classic Fender Bassman or Marshall JTM45 circuits, but a bit more modern sounding. It's got a lot of headroom, so it takes pedals well, but it does break up nicely and has a really nice overdrive tone. <laughs>
Alright, again, drop a comment below and let me know which of those amps you liked in that last sound clip. They each have their own unique character that I think is really useful depending on what kind of music you're going for. I really like how tight the gain is on the JCM 800 compared to like the Laney, for example. The Laney is a little bit more fuzzy sounding to my ear, and then the JCM 800 is more of a very tight controlled distortion that I really like the sound of. I totally get why metal dudes like running a tube screamer into a JCM 800. It's just a great combo. The Fuzzlord FL 103 is a clone of the classic high watt DR 103. Those classic high watt amps are extremely powerful. 100 watt amps that have a ton of headroom. They don't break up as much and you really gotta crank them up before they do start breaking up and they're very loud. These high watt style amps are one of my personal favorite amps because they work so well with dirt pedals. One of the other amps that we gotta check out today is from Rocket Retro. It's a clone of a Marshall Plexi. I really like this amp too, and my best description of it is it sounded kinda somewhere in between the high watt DR103 style amp because it's got a lot of clarity, and the JCM800. It kinda just parks itself right in the middle of having a nice gain and a nice breakup while also being high powered and having a lot of clarity and headroom. The Fuzzlord FTW120 is mostly a clone of the classic orange OR120 amplifiers from the 70s. Got a really unique character. Uh, the older orange OR120s have quite a bit of gain for a vintage amp and a very specific kind of mid voicing. The Fuzzlord FTW120 has quite a bit less gain than uh, the original orange amps to work better with pedals. I'm also curious to know if you are a fan of the Orange OR120 or the Mad Amp GT120s, drop a comment below. I'm curious to know if there's anyone out there who's a big fan of those amplifiers. All right, I really appreciate you watching this video. Go ahead and drop a comment below. I'm curious to know where you're watching from, what your favorite amp in this video was, and one of your favorite classic amplifiers. Drop a comment below. I'm really curious to know what you got to say. I'm Jason from Fuzzler Effects. I really appreciate you watching this video. Uh, if you wanna keep up with me on a daily, check out the Instagram page, at Fuzzler Effects. Head on over to fuzzlordeffects.com if you want to check out some paddles, more demo, merch, like this t-shirt right here. Uh, you can actually grab this one in the description below the video. Want to give a big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters that were running their names on the screen right now. 
I really appreciate each and every one of you. All of these people help support what we do here on the Fuzzlord Effects YouTube channel, making it possible for us to keep bringing you videos every week, checking out some new gear. So if you wanna know more about supporting this channel, checking out the Patreon page, so you can get some behind the scenes videos, early access to new pedals that are coming out and things like that, check out the description below. And last thing before we wrap it up, I want to give a big thank you to all of our producer level supporters on Patreon. That's Illuminati Guitars in Asheville, North Carolina. Big thank you to Jeremy Hansen, David Zeigler, Veyu Slavic, and Steve Reese from Does It Doom. I really appreciate all of you folks. You really make this channel possible. Uh, again, drop that comment below. I'm curious to know where everybody's watching from, some of your favorite parts of this video. And until next week, I'll talk to you in the comments and I look forward to seeing you next video.